Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and today we're going to be talking about going to A&E for mental health. For the purposes of this video, I'm only going to be talking about when you go before you act on anything. So I talk, we appreciate my t-shirt. I came, I had anxiety, so I left. Pretty accurate. So... Yes, going to A&E for mental health. Something I've done a few times. First thing they do is they take you back and do your physical ops and make sure you're physically fine because you have to be medically clear before the psych team will see you in the UK the psych team put up the mental health liaison team a lot of what happens is you just wait to speak to the psych team the, doc the doctor on the that's working in a &E will come and speak to you and ask why you're there and is there anything they can do. Sometimes they prescribe benzos to calm anxiety. They try and make you feel as comfortable as possible. Not going to A and E for mental health. A and E is not the ideal place to be ideal place. If there's something better, I'd say use that, but there isn't. While you're waiting for cycling you you can use your phone. You don't have to change into a gown. You stay in your clothes, you can have your phone, you can have your belongings. Sometimes if you've been there before, they may ask to search or things just to protect you. When the psych team come to you, they, they come and ask questions about your safety and how you're feeling and what's triggered us, what's going on, what's the reason you came to A&E. Filming in London is the worst thing ever. Everything's so loud. Like, jeez. So when the site team come in they will ask questions just about your general well-being and what's going on. Honestly it's so important to be honest in these when they see you. So they determine the next steps whether you go to a crisis house or you need to be in But generally they give you coping skills or PRN med and send you home. Nine times out of ten they'll send you home. So I don't think just because you're going to a and e mental health don't automatically think you're going to be impatient. Don't assume you're going to be getting get sectioned. It, it, it's not likely. They do their job to keep you safe and they want you in the community. So yeah that's just a little bit about going to A&E for mental health. I hope you learned something in this video. I hope it helped in some way if that's what you needed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.